Here they come if you look to your left along the crowd line now. A little bit of aviation training history here at air. So the bulldog, furthest away from you, chipmunk, and again, most both of these aeroplanes designed to do the same job. We'll talk you through the differences between them. Chipmunk, incredibly long Royal Air Force service. In fact, you could say it's still going on. There are two chipmunks used for conversion training by the Battle Group Memorial Fly to Coningsby. Perfect as a tail dragger to get you into the, the Hurricanes and the Spitfires. Turning like this with the least powerful aeroplane on the outside of the arc, this is uh, challenging. Scottish Aviation, of course, a legendary concern. Lots of people in the crowd will have worked for them or know of them. Now, the Bulldog came along as a replacement for the Chipmunk. Quite a few still in flying condition today. There's a lovely view of the Chippy and the Bulldog there. So I'm mentioning the book. It's published by Grub Street. It's available now. You can get it on a well-known book trading webby thingy. And it's called 50 Years of Flying Fun. And I have to say, it's one of the most absorbing autobiographies I've ever read. And I know I'm not on a commission. More airports are being built, so there are less frequencies to go around. So the authorities have introduced a six-digit 8.33 megahertz spacing. I know that's getting very technical now, but that's the reason for new avionics and the aeroplane. And then found a large market for exports. Beyond that, Scottish went into production of the jet stream, which became a very, very successful aeroplane in a series of series of advancements think some of you with us today who've flown operationally will remember training in these aircraft and the sight and the sound is back with us today at air